Hello, something that I have discovered in the last few weeks that I've been enjoying that I want to pass forward. I don't wanna gatekeep this any longer. I find it really, really amazing. Watched other videos of mine, you know that I have a hip replacement. My hips are missing the exterior portion, so my legs kind of hang out. So I was running one day and pulled the leg out of the socket, walked on it like that for quite a, quite some time. So I had to have it replaced. And it was around that time that I started doing more work on myself. It was around the time that I started plant modality, really looking into healing the body without medicine. This was also around the time when all my gut issues happened and I'll make another video about all of that. I wanted to make note of is PTSD, pain, trauma, it gets stored in your hips. They get tight. You know, if you know anything about me, pain, trauma, PTSD, I got a lot of that. So I had really tight hips, which also could have been a factor as to why mine popped out of the socket. Had my hip replacement surgery in January of 2020. So right before COVID shut down, I went into physical therapy and I didn't have insurance and figured, oh, I don't need physical therapy because it's crazy right now. It's COVID and everything, which hindsight, I probably should have continued. So in June of 2020, I started stretching more. I didn't follow any sort of plan. Obviously I love YouTube, so I used YouTube. I went on uh, for hip stretchers, just Googled that, started doing some of those exercises but then also started just listening to my body. And the roundabout of what I'm babbling about right now is the workout witch. My breathwork coach, Amy, y'all know I love Miss Amy, recommended that I do the workout witch. She is actually doing it at the same time as me. We're almost on the same exact day. And we talked about it last week. I'm in day 17 right now. It ranges from about two minutes to 18 minutes. And there's a schedule, you do one every day. Sometimes you're repeating, you know, one a few times in a row. My gym is currently closed, so I, I'm not working out right now. This workout, which it, I could do a two minute, just somatic movement of a hip rotation, I can barely walk the next day which to me means I have so much stuck in my body that needs to get out. If you've ever seen somatic dancing or ecstatic dancing, it's all about really being fluid. I actually did one yesterday. There was a painting party that I went to, the facilitator of the event, hypnotherapy and the somatic movements, which I found to be so mind blowing. Like how did I not think to co connect the mind body? That's such a great union. And I think that she's so lovely. I have her information. If anybody wants it, let me know. She had us doing some somatic movements before we did some art. She wanted us to connect to our inner child. So she was asking us things like, what do you remember being fun as a little kid? We had to make that kind of list. Then she had coloring books as inspiration of what we should be painting and drawing. And then she had us do somatic movements, which, you know, she would kind of reference some of them. But for me, the ones that I resonate to the most, and I will not be displaying them here on this YouTube. I apologize that I'm disappointing some of you, I'm sure. If you've ever seen a used car lot, they have that like tall, long, skinny thing that just kind of like blows in the wind. That's my favorite movement with somatic. Highly recommend giving that a try. If you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling emotions like built up within you, just kind of moving like one of those little things, you know, throwing your arms around and just wiggling your body about. It feels so silly and ridiculous, but I feel pretty great. Like, being silly and ridiculous and laughing at myself especially. So highly recommend doing that. The workout which you are guided to do it in your bed. I absolutely recommend this. I have high, tight hips, I have bad knees. So doing anything on a, I, most of us don't have carpet anymore. Doing any of this on a hardwood floor, I do not recommend. The whole purpose of it is to do it really slowly, really lazy, really fluidly, like almost like, you know, it, it's no, it, you don't wanna feel tight, pressured, stressed, worried, nervous, you, you really want to be at like the kumbaya of how you would be after a massage, right? You want to be like that super chilled out version of you when you do this. So you're not just like in a laying down position and then you stand up. No, there's a specific way she politely guides you to stand up. So I highly recommend it. I'm so sore, but let me remind you, I'm not working out. So what am I sore from? I am sore because I'm tight, because my body is like letting me know there is shit inside that wants to get out that I have like stuffed in there. I think it's really great that I can move this and can get this out and can get this in motion. It feels really good to be reconnecting and letting it come out. The day I did day 17, no joke was two minutes. No joke, I could barely get into the position. My body is so tight, my hips are so tight. I could barely sit cross-legged. Did it in a really tiny movement. I'm talking like this big rotation, right? Like this big, like you can go if it's comfortable this big. I was doing Pilates every day in 2022. 2024, I've been really starting to listen to my body. So years ago, I thought high intensity meant the best ROI. 
And so I was doing boxing, I was doing 45 minute kickboxing, and then I would run for 20 minutes. I would find myself constantly ravenous. So I switched to low intensity. I did also learn from my homeopathic doctor that for my body with thyroid, probably also because of the trauma that I have within my body, low intensity, low heart rate stuff for me, I also think as a woman is better for weight loss. And I have a lot of people ask me about my transformation in the last few years, a separate video about how, how the vid, I got the vid in August, 2021, and I gained 35 pounds in three weeks. Like it shattered my body. So I'll do a separate video talking about my whole multiple year journey with that because that was intense. For this video, I just wanted to focus on the workout witch and how I can't gatekeep this anymore. I really recommend that you try it. 30 day program. There are some journal prompts in there too that I highly recommend that I've enjoyed. I actually have the, the vision one up on my vision board because it asks you for four prompts. So I definitely did that one. And like I said, some days are 18 minutes, some days are two. So I went to Pilates today. Haven't really been working out. There were some moves that my body was so locked and so tight. Mind you, I haven't worked out in five days. Okay, my body should not be sore from the Pilates I did last week, but my body is sore from this workout. And she actually references that she doesn't want you to really work out. I also love working out. I love movement. So the first two weeks I was only stretching in my gym, but I'm kind of, you know, wanting to get some movement to feel my muscles. I have been utilizing Pilates studio in my area. I did one last Thursday and I did one today, Monday. I almost started crying in the Pilates class because my body, again, the whole purpose of the workout, which is to get the stored trauma and emotions moving in through your body. And I literally lay down and just rested and listened to that and honored that. I could feel things moving through me emotionally that I wanted to honor or something in you is saying, slow down or stop honor that. I wish I had listened to myself when I was running and I pulled my leg out of the socket because I knew it was a bad idea. My body told me this is a bad idea. I don't know what you're doing. Running up a hill. Uh, I know it's Thanksgiving and you want to eat gluten-free pie, Lisa, but this might not be the best thing. And like the pain, undescribable, undescribable. I came home knowing I was going to have movement. So I did a meditation. I lay down on my couch here. I did a meditation for 25 minutes. So much came out. So much came out. I also want to prepare you the whole time you're doing this, every day, you're gonna feel icky. You're probably going to be feeling those feelings. They're not identified. You likely won't finish the session for the day and be like, oh, I'm reliving X, Y, Z. No, you won't know what it is. You'll just feel the feelings. You'll just feel sadness, loneliness, hurt. You'll feel the unsettledness You'll just feel the emotion without like a pin in it. I hope that you honor that and let it release, let it flow. So I knew the fact that I almost started crying in Pilates and I actually told my instructor after and she shared that she's gonna be doing a psychedelic modality herself. I'm also doing combo in a few days and they say that when you do a psychedelic practice a few weeks before and after, it's very intense. So I think this is also a bubbling of this. So I'm doing a lot of these things in alignment with each other, which is so beautiful, but it is, it's intense, it's a lot. So I'm just letting you know I've been crabbier and potentially a little meaner and snippier than I normally would be with my relationships. I feel like a little kid. I feel like I'm reliving little kid moments of my life right now. And I can't describe that because I haven't done anything except stretch on a bed when I first wake up in the morning, but let me tell you, this is real. I love it, I'm obsessed, can't wait. Tomorrow is release day, which I just shared with you, I already released a little today. And again, it, in the meditation, I, I was trying to put a face to the pain. I was trying to think, okay, what is this? What What is this? And it was just like, I literally heard the word, stop trying to label, just feel it. And when I did that, I was able to reconnect to being five, six years old and just sitting in my room by myself. And I remember that I, that I was sad, but I, to this day, and even in the moment, probably couldn't tell you why I was sad, but that's where I went in today's meditation. I went back to that and I made so many notes. I'm curious to see what comes up and comes out tomorrow and the next few days, which are the release days. It's $57, well worth the money. It is transformative, it's healing, it's releasing. It's reconnective, it's a wow. I didn't wanna keep this. I want you to know all the things that I'm doing to get me from here to here. Cause I want all of us to go from here to here. I want all of us living a life of heaven on earth. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section below. Have you heard of the workout? Have you done the workout? 
Do you think it's weird? Does this resonate? Have you heard of somatic before? Have you heard of someone having their hip pop out of the socket before? More about the plant modalities that I've used, psychedelic modalities that I've used for healing. Have you done them? I mean, share all the things. I would love for us as a community to grow and share and connect with one another. While you're healing, it can feel very lonely and isolating. Commonly and more often than not, our friends don't want us to change. Our family definitely probably doesn't want us to change. Everybody likes how people are. So when you start to make movement and make moves, people can get uncomfortable and say, hey, what are you doing? I don't like it. This channel is resonating with you. I would love for you to join our community by subscribing. Please feel free to go binge all my other videos. I've been posting weekly, sometimes twice a week. I feel like sharing my story has really opened up my heart space and being authentic, raw and vulnerable with you has helped me to make my light grow brighter and shine brighter. And I love to live through an authentic, raw, real, vulnerable place. It's uncomfortable and ugly sometimes to get here and healing, sis, let me tell you, healing, it ain't pretty. But I think the after effects are well worth the pain to get there. The view at the top of the mountain is epic because the climb up the mountain was steep. If you want to get to that great view, that great place, you got to put in the work. Okay, thanks so much for tuning in. Mwah. I love you all so much. Thank you for being a part of my journey. Looking forward to sharing about all of my combo experience in the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye. Would you pray on my weakness? Set this flame